Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. Today, we're going to be answering the question, does the cross reveal our value? We're going to look at this question from a biblical standpoint, and we're also going to highlight the love of God that was demonstrated for us in the work of Christ. But first, if you'd like to help promote sound Christian teaching here on YouTube, please go ahead and take a second now to subscribe to my channel, and thank you in advance. All right, guys, so my goal today is going to be to try to show you that the cross does not reveal your value in the way that many people talk about it. I hope to do so and prove it to you using scripture, but I also want you to stick around because I want you to see that just because the cross doesn't reveal your value, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't love and embrace the love of God that he has demonstrated towards us and that we can't share that good news with others. But let's start by looking at some scripture. So we're going to be in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. I'm going to pause a couple of times along the way just to make some observations. So let's start in verse 6. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. All right, so already we have a couple of clues that the cross does not reveal to us our great value. So this is talking about the right time at which Christ came and laid down his life. And what does it say about our state at the time that he did so? Well, it says that we were weak and it actually calls us ungodly. So it certainly doesn't make it seem like we had tremendous value or great potential or were really strong. No, it calls us weak and it calls us ungodly. And it's going to further unpack this idea in verses 7 and 8. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8, uh, by the way, is perhaps my favorite verse in all of the Bible. If somebody wanted to say that God demonstrates his love for us in what he did on the cross, absolutely. I believe that is a 100% biblical idea and understanding. But how did God show or demonstrate his love for us? In what way? Well, verses 7 and 8 actually tell us, number one, it said the way that he showed us his love was that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It doesn't say that he showed us his love because we were great and we were valuable. No, it actually is doing the opposite. It says we were sinners and yet he died for us anyways. And in fact, verse 7 starts by saying one would scarcely die for a righteous person. Perhaps for a good person, somebody might die. And then it contrasts it. And it's like, yeah, but that's not what God was doing. Jesus did not die for a good person. Jesus did not die for the righteous person. No, it was Quite the opposite of that. In fact, he died for the sinner. He died for people who were ungodly. So let's continue now in verse 9. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. Quick side note, if you want to know what are you being saved from, it's from the wrath of God. You're being saved from God and his wrath. Verse 10, for if while we were enemies, enemies, right? This does not sound like great value language. If while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. So you once again see this word enemies used. Now, I think it's important, and maybe somebody would point this out, and I do think it is possible to uh, to go too far in this direction. I don't necessarily mean to go too far, but it's more, more maybe a better way of saying it would be to say that some people just dwell on that. Like you were ungodly, you were a sinner, um, you were enemies of God. All of those things are very true, but sometimes we can just dwell there and we don't focus on the part that says, yeah, but through Christ, we have been reconciled. If you are in Christ, you are no longer his enemy. I think that's really important to point out. Yet at the same time, it is equally as important to point out the fact that somebody who is not in Christ, uh, they are God's enemy. They are ungodly. They are a sinner. And all of us were that way when Christ died for us. So to say that the cross reveals our value is to make it seem as if Jesus was looking down from heaven and said, wow, those people are truly amazing and remarkable and just great people, and I'm going to die for them. 
when scripture tells us the opposite. It says that we were ungodly, we were his enemies, and he actually demonstrated his love in the fact that he was willing to come down anyways. So many people might point to the verse where it says it's God's kindness that leads people to repentance, and they'll say that's why we talk to people about their worth. But you need to understand that God's kindness is best demonstrated in the fact that he dies for people who are ungodly. One more passage of scripture I want to use to show this idea. Ephesians 2 verses 1 through 3. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. So pay attention. By nature, all of us are children of wrath certainly does not sound like great value. So I think this is really important. And my heart in doing this video is I want you to understand that we as believers absolutely want people to understand the love of God. We want them to understand his kindness and his grace, but we don't go about conveying that by speaking incorrectly about scripture. We want to be accurate about what the Bible has to say. And also we need to understand that the best way that we highlight God's love is by showing people, hey, apart from Christ, you're his enemy. You're a sinner. You're ungodly. There is not this um, great worth and value. And we're not talking about the being made in the image of God. All people have inherent dignity and value because of being made in the image of God. We're saying that like you're some great person and God is kind of like impressed with you and he'd be willing to die with you be, uh, for you because you are so valuable. No, we need to not do that. We need to point people to the fact they are sin- sinners. They are enemies of God. Yet God has clearly demonstrated his love for them by sending his son to die while they were still sinners. All right, guys, I hope this teaching today was helpful to you. If it was and you want to get this content out to more people, please take a second now to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you would like to partner together with me financially in ministry, I have a couple of profiles to Kofi and Patreon that I will put links to down below in the description. You can give a one-time gift or sign up for monthly recurring donations. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, God bless.